All right, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? Game Day J back in the mix. Thanks for tuning in. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Let's go. I don't have fucking um, Part 4 yet, or I don't have Ultra Part 4. <laughs> Hell, am I talking about? Um, this is all live gameplay, as you can see. Um, in the lobby, I'm the host. Um, I think today we're going with Dougie. I think I'm going to pick Dougie, and we're going to be doing the full video with just him. Uh, if you guys don't know, damn, what's it take so long for somebody to get in here? Always look at the disconnect rate and always look at the, well, I try to look at their um, bars. And I always seem to forget their bars and I'm more obsessed with their um, their disconnect rate. And that's a problem for me. I need to start paying attention to people that have yellow bars and they're almost red and shit like that. Because I've been having some horrible matches where I'm just getting beat because of fucking lag. And that's the only reason I think I, I, I basically had a chance. I don't feel like I have a chance because you can't block when it lags like every two seconds, you know what I'm talking about? Are you and somehow it's all good for these Fight. people. Hadouken. So we're playing, this guy, his Hadouken. name is It's Faith 24 Hadouken. He's a Ken user, he likes Ken. Uh, I don't really, really pick any of the uh, Fireball users. I kind of don't like picking them because everybody in the bomb picks them, and there's so many of them. I just, don't, I don't need them. I don't, they're not my style. I'm not saying I don't like them because I used to love picking Ken. Um, and um, I used to have battles with my brother back then on Super, or Super Nintendo. Or Super Nintendo. I was just talking to a friend about playing on the Super Nintendo for Super Street Fighter Turbo. We used to play. The, I used to play the one on the Sega because I never owned the Super Nintendo. So I used to always play the arcade and the one on that. So that it is what it is. Um, I would say it probably was better on the Super Nintendo. I did play it on them before. I just never owned it. Like I said. Cause there's more buttons on the Super Nintendo, but uh, I don't know. I think it ran better on the, on the Sega, didn't it? Somebody can answer that. That's a pro or whatever expert. Um, I love fighting these Ryu and Ken people. That's the reason I even started picking um, Dougie. I call him Dougie. I picked Dougie and I picked. Um, oh, that was wrong. That was so fucking wrong right there. <laughs> you gotta love the counter attack, baby. It's like one of his best moves. You gotta love this British boxer, baby. Love that shit. You have no dignity. You know, he should talk more. You should talk more, Dougie. You should talk more. Um, between him and Abel, these guys are top, my top one and number two guys to go to. Like, when I'm mad or pissed or I feel like I want to have a better chance at winning, if I pick Dougie and them, I'm, I'm fucking pissed at you. You should know that. But that doesn't mean that every time you see me pick them, because sometimes I'll just pick them because I haven't picked them in a long time. And it kind of shows. Like, I used to be pretty decent with these guys, at least in my opinion. Um, cause I'm still an average player. I'm no pro. I don't have, I'm using a regular, um, joystick and I think, or a regular, um, controller, Xbox remote, and the shit's kind of broken. What's this guy's name? Rapid Foil, Rapid Foil? Gold Foil? Rapid Foil 3 something something, 378 something, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have my way with this guy. And, um, I like to just change up the colors and the wind quotes and shit like that. Uh, I would pick Rolling Thunder, but Rolling Thunder is hard to get out sometimes for me, and it seems like I always delay it. So it's way easier to do Corkscrew, because it's way easier to get out. It's just two fireballs, man. If you can't do a fireball, you have no business being a dog's fucking Street Fighter. The most easiest classic thing you can do in a game of Street Fighter. Day one, you learned that from Street Fighter Arcade 1, the first one, how to do a fireball. If you didn't learn that then... And you try to come into this game now, like every game seems to have some kind of move like that. Fireball move, charge move, all from Street Fighter. Street Fighter seemed to be the first one I seen first game I seen that kinda of adapted that. That um gameplay style. So this guy has Seth. I don't even know anything about Seth really. I never really pick on myself. He has no battle points, so uh, like I said, that could be misleading. Sometimes people restart shit. Sometimes people just now get the game. But are pros at the game, and they can handle you. You just have to be their first fucking victim. Ooh, I love the chain combo with this man. God, I love it. It just feels so good when you get it on. I'm not good at stunning people. I never learned um, what moves I should be doing to possibly get the stun. or I just, I just kind of repeat. I kind of rinse and repeat. And I hit the person, if I keep hitting them with it, then I'll keep going with it. But there are possible um, combinations I should possibly be doing to actually get the guy stunned so I can get a free, another free combo or free hit going. But I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I've never, I can't learn it. I, I just, I'm too anxious to put it that way. See how much I'm talking right now? It's way easier for me to talk. 
Ooh. Wait, ooh, I got him. Gotta love it. I think he misses the second one. That's kind of messed up, though. Does he miss it? Yeah, he misses it. That's been happening a lot lately. I think that happens a lot this video. Like, I've been trying to get people with the second, with the, the super combo, and I've been missing. I've been missing. ABA, not bad. He said something about, I'm afraid rare roses are, rare, are rarest fighters or good fighters or some shit like that. Another diss. So y'all take that. Take that shit and ride it back, you know? Um, doesn't really take too long to actually get somebody to come into your room when you're actually hosting. See what I mean? People just come in here. Fat Mill. 2% disconnect and he has yellow bars. See, I didn't pay attention to that, so that could possibly be my downfall right there. I could lose just because of fucking yellow bars. I don't want to lose because of yellow bars, you know what I mean? Because I always have green bars, unless you're playing from like Thailand or something, then I'll we'll have a possible problem, but uh, I have a good internet connection. I'm always wired. All my connections are wired. My, my Wii U's wired, my Xbox wired, when I get the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One, they're all going to be wired. I don't do the wireless thing. I don't care how pretty it looks. Okay, people? I don't care how pretty it looks. I want the full connection. I don't want any fucking interruptions. The diner. How do you guys feel about this level? I think this is like one of the best levels. The most, one of the most active levels. Oh shit, this guy's going to go and ham on me right now. Calm down. Calm down. I didn't say nothing about your mama. I didn't say nothing about your mama. <laughs> Take the glove, baby. Take the glove. That's my new word right there. Take the glove. Okay. No glove, no love, baby. Alright? That was a fuck up. If you ever see me do like an EX uppercut, that's a fuck up with him. Because I'm trying to do the special. I was trying to do his um, ultra. But it fell, so. And that's something that usually happens with this remote. Because the remote I have is actually beat up. It's beat up. It's falling apart. Um, what do you call it? The little... Uh, Analog stick things are tearing off on the side so you can see the little plastic inside of it. It's ugly, man. You don't want to see it. This guy's getting a little too cocky. He has oh he has a lot of battle points. Never mind. He's, he's up there. He's like, what is he? Like a C rank or a B rank? I don't know, but I want those points. And that's how I always feel. I don't really care what fucking rank you are. I'm going in. And be sure if, you, if I catch you slipping, I'm taking those points, okay? I earned them. Especially if you came here thinking you're just gonna fucking run through game day. Look at that. Okay. Oh, that was risky because he could have did a special and that would have ended me. That would have ended me. Um, I don't know if I don't play like most Dougie users or Dougie users. I just feel like I have my own style. I know there's better ways to play. Um, I don't really look at people playing. I do have a few people that I check out um, for um, Street Fighter matches because they're entertaining and they're funny. But I don't really look up the Evo challenges or you know Evo matches and stuff like that. Um, I think I said that in my last couple videos. I said something about that. Um, I don't know why. I just don't look at. I don't look them up. They're interesting, entertaining. But I, when it comes down to videos, I'd rather be playing myself. Like I have a, enough videos on my channel that I don't really like looking up other people's videos because I have videos to be making. That's how I kind of feel. And it's not like I have to make them. I just wanna. I want more videos on my channel. I want different stuff. I don't know why I did that. You gonna hit me? Can I catch him? Oh, I should have did the special. I should have made him pay for doing that fucking uppercut. So it just goes to show, no matter how many B points you have, which is battle points, I believe, and then... What does PP mean? Is that people points? Player points? People points. I think it's player points. And that's just regular matches. I don't know how that... What the hell that does for you. If anybody that's a pro to actually play, watching me play, watching this gameplay, and you want to explain what... The P, the um, player points do, or what they go to, or what they really signify. You can. I would like to know. I'm too lazy to look it up. Uh, I know what battle points are. It's obviously the points you get from rank. We actually go on the battle, baby, and you're trying to go ham on these kids. So yeah, it gets old just sitting in here in the lobby right here. I should be doing this shit on Twitch. Now that I think about it, I should be in my Twitch. My Twitch channel, I don't have the best internet, or not the best internet, I have a great internet. I don't have a, the best computer, so I can't stream in HD without it glitching. I can do HD, but it'll probably glitch around a lot, and I don't like that. Oh, shit. I think I was getting cocky this whole time, and then I see this fucking dude come in. He comes in with Zangief, I'm like, okay, another easy win, and I don't think I have my way with him. 
Will I don't be look at him. He's one seventeen. He only has one hundred seventeen battle points. And I don't know if this is the match. I think he just has his way with me. Cool. He wanted to watch the intro. I like to let it run every now and then. Red Cyclone, baby. We are about it like a cyclone. I'm a cyclone. I'm a cyclone. What y'all know about that? Y'all remember that song? The baby, was it Baby Bash? Was it Baby Bash? I think it was a Baby Bash song. Yeah. And it had T-Pain in it. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You should do the fucking jams. Bad idea to walk up to a... Bad idea to walk up to a fucking wrestling grabbing machine. Do not walk up to Zangief. You don't do it. You don't. Unless you want to get grabbed and tossed around like a fucking ragdoll. I learned the shit. I remember the shit, then I play them again and I don't fucking execute what I've learned. I don't know why I don't. And I was trying to do my special. I was trying to do my um, ultra. And he did a fucking regular punch. That's because anytime I'm on my left side, my remote's fucked up like that. Where I can't do any moves from the left. Or from the right. I can't do any moves that face that go to the direction on the left. They don't come out all the time. I promise you, that's it. I'm not making this shit up. He's gonna miss the second hit. What did I just say? Did I say that last time? In the last video? My artifact's gonna miss the second hit. There's that chain combo, baby. It's not that hard to do. You should learn it. It's not that hard to do. Oh, that was a good move. Great move. Great move. Do I actually come back and win one? I would like to win one. That's... That's all I want, Zangief. Zangief! It's one, one, one. Big fuck. I just want to win one. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I said not to do. That was good right there. I should have comboed him right there. Got him, Coach. Got him, Coach. Machine gun punch. Oh, shit. I'm down to one hit. I'm down to one hit. Uppercut. Oh, I didn't even catch him, though. Just a jab. Well, it was uppercut. It wasn't just the the, the original uppercut. Is that truly all you're capable of? Look at these fools dancing in the background and shit. Is this Dal Sims level? Dal Sim? Dal Sim? See, look, I'm going ham on him right now, right? I told you, don't walk up to him, game day. What the fuck? I don't learn, people. I don't learn from my mistakes. I'm just a, I'm just a fucking offensive player. I have to get in there. I can't let these guys get, get ground. Oh shit, that should have hit him. Okay, it hit him. Okay, good job. Oh shit, so am I gonna get him? He's gonna fuck up. I swear to god he comes back. He hits me with one of these grabs. He hits me with one of these grabs and comes back. Watch. Oh, okay. Not, okay, it's not this round then. One of these rounds, one of these Zank geese just fucks me up. I guess I learned not to walk up to him. I saw you have full meter. You do have to pay attention to the meter. Because if you get too close to these people, they're gonna fucking destroy you. That's what they're waiting for. That's not, I know that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for somebody to fuck up and come close up on me like they know me. <laughs> like they fucking know me. I do believe this is the last match, looking at the time. So, what was that? Was that like five matches or something? That seems to be what I usually do now. Five matches of losing or winning. Dirty Ron. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And I usually send these people messages after I played them. I say, good game. Especially if it was a good game. I always, I always explain what I was trying to do and what I didn't do. They probably think it's just some kind of excuse when I do send them messages. I was a good game, but that second round, man, I had you. I just fucked up on this. And sometimes they don't comment back. Sometimes they do. Like, haha, yeah, good game. And um, half the time, some of these guys don't even say good game. But they don't have to do nothing like that. That's one of those moves that are, that's underused right there. It's, um, it's overlooked. And I love fighting uppercut or um, fireball uppercut people because it's like I like to mock them with, with Dougie, man. Oh shit! There we go. We got the chain combo on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I should have did the inside the overhead punch. I'm not good with that because it's on on the remote. It's the fucking left. Oh shit. On the remote, it's the left. It's the left trigger. It's the left trigger. So I'm not used to hitting that button, and it feels like you can't wrap it and tap it. You know, it just feels like it's a trigger button. You know what I mean? It's not as sensitive. Oh shit! I'm gonna get him. Okay, he fucked up. That's why I said I like when people do uppercuts because it's fucking. You're gonna fuck up. You fucked up if you do an uppercut when you have low health. You trying to be all flashy and shit and do an uppercut to kill me? It's not gonna work. No offense, but it's not gonna work. Well, most of the time, it's not going to work. I think this guy's mad now. He's like, fuck that. 
fucking dumb shit. I don't want to hear. You're getting too close. Nope, oh, I thought he was gonna fucking do something. Just stick that fucking arm out or something. He lit me up for it. He's gonna win this one. Boom! Slam me right on my fucking head. Right on my fucking head. <laughs> this is indeed the last round, my friends. <sighs> uppercut. Fucked up. Fucked up. Told you, no uppercut. I know it's one of his better moves. It's fun to do these uppercuts. It's fun to do them. I should have blocked that one. Was that an EX one? It was, huh? Yeah, it was. He has no meter. He has no meter, folks. No, back up. That jab, man, that's good for spacing. There you go, you fucked up. I told you guys, keep doing that shit. He's gonna catch it, he's gonna catch it. Yeah. Shut that fucking dog up. <laughs> look at him, we're just fucking, we're fucking around now. Uh, uh, look at him, look at him flying to the ground, baby. Look how he landed, like a fucking dog. <laughs> Test crash W, baby. All right, people, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, follow me um, at GameDay2011, Twitter. I would appreciate it. Until next time, stay gaming, my friends. Game Day out.